Hey guys, as usual, I keep saying I haven't made videos for ages, uh, but this is amazingly cool. Now, of course, the experts out there will go, oh, we know about that. We've done this already. But um, this is the issue is when you uh, have a, you're prototyping and you've got a new board and you want to make a box for it, okay? So you've got this ready, printer ready, and you want to design something to fit all your electronics in. Uh, how can you go about that? And I'm sure that there are a few different ways. Um, now, this is something I've just found out now. So I've got my Easy EDA. Um, now, a side note, uh, I think Fusion, Autodesk Fusion, uh, Autodesk has um, the Eagle Soft. So if you do your board design in Eagle, you can actually import that board into the 3D design software and work from there. And that's probably the smart way to go. I already am entrenched with Easy EDA. That's my preferred um, tool. Um, now, so you can see here, I've got my board here and I gave it some thought and I realized that you can go here and you go export. First, I tried the SVG source, uh, which is one option, um, but a better option is actually to export the 3D model as an object file. So I've exported that and I opened it up in downloads, in my downloads folder. And you can see here, there's the model there. Now, just forget about that symbol for a second. It's just that that software has attached itself to the OBG files. Uh, but what you do now is once you've done that, so just to clarify, I'm going all over the place here, but see this 3D view option here? All right, that's what you're getting. So whatever you have an actual model of the components, you are going to generate that model uh, data as a file. So obviously the more the better, like the more models you have here, 3D models, the better. Um, now, going back to Fusion, Look at this. So basically I've started a new fusion design and I've gone insert, insert mesh because that's what it is now. Uh, it's come up with a couple of error messages. Uh, it says uh, there's the mesh is not orientated, not closed, doesn't have a positive volume. And it looks like Autodesk will have a crack at preparing those and I'll do that in a moment. But I'm just super excited about having this data now in Fusion 360 so that I can build a nice case around that right what i normally did was i would manually draw out all these model components design with model components uh, but having this is a really big time saver and also improves the accuracy um, rather than having to copy the data across and take measurements etc this is a great time saving option so I thought I'd share that with you and uh, I hope that that's helpful to at least one or two people out there in the world. Thank you guys. All the best and happy new year for 22.